We are on air. Oh, we are on air. All right. Uh, hello and welcome everybody to another episode of the Sustainability Marketing Podcast Series. We are going to tell you something about the ecological footprint and some ways how you can personally contribute to a more sustainable way of life. Uh, the ecological footprint is a measure of human demand on uh, the Earth's ecosystems. And it compares this human demand uh, with the planet Earth's capacity to regenerate. It represents the amount of land and sea needed to regenerate the resources that uh, the human population consumes and to absorb the corresponding waste. This means that it is made up from uh, your way of living. That uh, is how you dwell, how you eat, how much and the way you travel and what else you consume. For 2005, humanity's total ecological footprint was estimated at 1.3 planet Earth. If everybody would like to live the way we Western Europeans do, three planet Earth would be required. But, unfortunately, we only got one, right? This unique planet, our living space, has very clear boundaries and therefore determines our usable area. Dividing this area by the estimated world population in 2050 with 9 billion people and considering a fair distribution of resources between human and nature, we will also have to leave some space for biodiversity. Taking these facts into account, we see that in future we will end up with just one hectare per person on our planet. Given you some examples and benchmarks from current distribution, we see that India, one guy in India needs 0.7 hectare, a Chinese citizen needs 2.1 hectares, which is also the world's average, and in comparison to that, an American needs 9.4 hectares. A typical German, like me, consumes at the moment 5 hectares, which is basically the area of 10 football fields. We see we live on too big foot. In order to guarantee a fair future lifestyle, we have to reduce our footprint to 1 hectare, which are these 1, 2 football fields. Although it looks like we have to cut back our footprint drastically, which may sound to you like a very big change, we want to show you how to reduce your personal footprint and at the same time enjoy your life. We want to give you some examples from your daily life and give you some hints for improvement. Here we want to start with traveling. Hello, Servus. How are you doing? Good man, thanks. Yeah. yeah. You've been on a trip? I just came back from a nice trip from uh, to Marseille and back. Yeah, yeah, by bike. It was cool. really good. Yeah. yeah. You liked it? Yeah, I really liked it. I even took Jeff with me. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. You know the best thing about it is it, the whole trip didn't have any impact on my global footprint. It's really good. What does that mean? Ah the global footprint. Um I can show you at a little example um what what it means, the global footprint, the whole and how, uh, how the different impacts are on your ways of traveling with these 100 square meters. So, come on, let's have a look. So, so by train, it's really good. If we take our 100 square meters into account, we can go 2,500 kilometers from Freising to Marseille and back, which is really good. <laughs> Hello, so here we see a map of the Alpine area in Europe, uh, just to compare the different ways of traveling. So as we just saw by bike, I can kind of go everywhere without leaving any impact on my global footprint. Nice. We already saw the train. It's possible to go from Freising all the way down to Marseille and back. Two and a half thousand kilometers with our 100 square meters. In comparison, the Germans' most favorite toy, the car, performs rather lousy. If we start in Freising, I can go to Stuttgart if I'm alone. 
to North Sea. If you have two people in the car, three, four, five. Hey, we're down there in Marseille. But unfortunately, we're down there and we won't be able to go back. So, rather lousy. Last and least, the plane. This really has a big impact on your footprint. If I would like to go on holidays to Marseille, all the way down there, I would have to jump out over freezing by parachute. Yeah, it's really worst. So, go by bike, travel by train. If you go by car, make sure that there are several people in there and avoid the plane. This is really bad. Because, as you just saw in this example, your decision of how to travel really has a big influence on your personal global footprint. Hey man, no, don't put it in there. It's for the yellow bag, man. Why? The this? Yes, of course. Yellow bag? Yeah. Oh, okay. In here. I didn't know. Cool. Done? Yeah. Check. Yeah. Sweet, one kilo of yummy beefsteak. Let's have a barbecue tonight. Wow, oh, holy, wow, oh, crazy. Did you know that one kilo of beef uh, equals 35 kilo of uh, potatoes, man? That's 35 crazy. kilos? Yeah. That's bad. Maybe I should reconsider my meat consumption now. Huh? Oh. I need more veggies. Until now, we heard several measures how you can reduce your footprint, and there are several more. But it's easier to change your life with friends. So, change your life, but change with style.